Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the 3D models just by using the real world objects. And what you need to do is just take picture from the real world. Now you can see this is a real world object that I capture from in front of my house. And then I just need to take a series of picture like this. Now you can see all of these are just, just the photos, the pictures that I taken by using a handphone, by using a mobile phone, and actually some of the qualities are not really good. But just by using all of these pictures, totally I already taken more than 200 pictures together. Then by using all of this picture, we use a technology that is called photogrammetry or 3D scans. Finally, we can just convert all of this picture to become a 3D model and you can use it in Blender. You can export it as FBX for any of your 3D mod modeling software, 3D animation software and game developing software. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step how to make the photogrammetry and 3D scans without any of the 3D scanner. What you need to have is just a mobile phone and go out to take some picture. All right. So now I'm going to close everything and start from beginning. I'm going to close Blender as well. All right. I assume that start from now, you already go and capture some picture. And this is the sample. I capture about 25 picture. Always remember you need more than 20 pictures and all of these pictures I capture by using a mobile phone as well. And look at the quality, actually the quality is not good, right? But I'm going to show you how to use all of these pictures to convert it to become a realistic 3D model. And what is this actually? This is just a piece of brick that in the underground parking slot. All right, now we need a software that is called the Adobe Substance Sampler. Just open your Adobe Substance Sampler if you have. Then just wait for a while. Now the Adobe Substance Sampler is loading. It may take a few seconds. It depends on your computer speed. And at the same time, I'm going to show the task manager Right now you can see the Adobe sub Substance 3D is already opened. Now click create new like this. All right, next just click add a 3D capture. And then you can see 25 pictures that I taken from, from the underground parking, the underground, the underground car park break. I just need to select all and drag into here. Now it is importing just 25 pictures only because this is just a simple 3D model. Then I click submit, then click process. And here you need to wait for a while it is processing. The more picture you have, the longer you need to wait. So for, for this case, it is just 25 pictures. So it is just a while only. Now you can see my GPU, it is running at the G GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. It is using the GPU and CPU. So to perform the photogrammetry, you need to have a very good computer. Now you can see it already have this. These are the camera. Then what you need to do is just click here to make sure that you just choose the part that you want. The brick is at here. Let's say if I unseen, you can see roughly the brick is somewhere here. So you just crop it, crop the parts that you want so that it won't generate the unnecessary 3D meshes. Right now, you can rotate it as well just click and rotate like this. 
make sure you select it wisely. You just want this part. Right. Next, click Submit. At this moment, you can see my computer is still using the GPU and CPU, but while generating the 3D models, it is not as as tough as just now. So at this moment, you just need to wait for a while until it finish. For 25 picture, it may just wait for about two minutes if you have a very good GPU and CPU. My CPU is just a normal CPU, AMD Ryzen 5, and the GPU is just normal. This is a gaming desktop. All right, now it almost finished, and now it is processing. Now you can see your 3D model is already here. This is a piece of brick according to my picture. Then click Add to Project. Create a 3D mesh. I'm going to name this as Brick01. Click OK. Now this piece of 3D model is at here. So you can export as FBX file. Click File, Export, the mesh setting choose FBX or any other 3D formats that you really familiar. For me, I am comfortable with the FBX 3D model because it is quite universal for all of the 3D software that I'm using like the Blender, iClones, Unreal Engine's Unity and the material setting, just choose the PNG. For me, that is the best. Then the general setting just choose a location that you want to export. So I'm going to create a new folder here. Name this as brick01. Right. Sorry, the folder is already here. What I need to do is just create a new folder, temporary folder. Then I double click, then copy this location, control C to copy, then select all delete it and paste it here. Then click export. Now the FBX 3D model is exported. You can see this is a game ready 3D model that's all of the material already baked into once. It's only one material and the FBX 3D model is at here. So now I'm going to import it into Blender. I'm going to open the Blender, Blender 4.1. Then I press A and press delete to delete everything. I click file, import FBX from my desktop, new folder, the break 01. Then in the Blender, just show the material. Then in Blender, you can just click and press S to make it smaller because in Blender, for every of this brick, it's one meter times one meter. So you press S to just make it small up to the scale. Next, just click minus Y, then click here to move it up so that it is at the correct position. You can rotate it so that it is aligned with the ground. Then move it again, like this. Next, change the pivot point. Control, full stop, drag it down at here. Again, control, full stop. Next, click X. You have to make sure it is at the center as well. Control, full stop, make it at the center. Then control, full stop again. Now. It is ready, click and press Ctrl A. Ctrl A, then click 
or transform. And here, you can save it as a Blender project. Click File, Save As on the desktop, Break 01, Save. Now it is already ready for your Blender. If you want to make it become game ready, just click it, then go to the modifier, add a modifier, search for decimate. The decimate is here. Then just right click here, make sure you show the scene statistic, then you can see the vertices is 19,000. It is almost 20,000. So the ratio here, just put it as, all right, now you can see, this is the number of vertices. The ratio, you can just put like 0 0.1 and have a look. Now it is game ready. Just look again. If you feel satisfied, then you can just, just apply it then it is going to bake everything. All right, so now I'm going to apply. Then I click File, Save As, another copy. The brick, 01, game ready. All right, I save. Now, just compare it, the number of triangle, you still can decrease it actually, just add the modifier. Compare with the previous versions, The break zero one. This is high poly, and actually you no need to have so so much vertices. You just just make it a good level of detail that is enough. Right. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to convert your picture, your photo to become a 3D model just by using the photogrammetry technology or you can use the 3D scanner as well but in this tutorial, this is what they call the photogrammetry and make it become a 3D model, finally it become an FBX file you can make it as game ready in Blender as well Alright, that's all for today Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!